Hey, my friend, so I'm gonna try a little vlog today. It's actually the first time I do that outside, so it's gonna be pretty funny. More likely, I'm gonna do a lot of cuts and everything. But I figured I needed to do a little uh, update on the channel today, because you might have noticed it's been uh, a couple of weeks I didn't publish anything, and you might be wondering what's going on. So today, I'm gonna tell you what's going on. Oh, yeah, man. You want to say a word to the camera for my YouTube channel? Well. This guy's a cool guy, he's actually talked to me. He let, he, he let, he let me get filmed on the camera. Oh yeah. I'm Steve Blaze the Barber, I'm from Montreal. And uh, you're a barber? Great. Yes, I'm a hairstylist barber. Oh my god, do you do long hair as well? I do everything, my friend. Everything. Yeah. Are you around there? Uh, I'm in Oh, okay. I'm in Lachine. Kind of far for me, but I bike there sometimes. But you know so. what, sometimes for the experience? T underscore B L A D E Z on Instagram. You can like me if you want, check me. I don't have much news on YouTube, there. but what's your <laughs> name, man? My name is Tahir. Good to meet you, man. And you? Val. Val. Tu es français, hein? Ouais. T'es de la France. Je, mets, je fais des vidéos en anglais quand même. Quand même, non? <laughs> ouais, c'est pour parler. Quand même. Pour parler un peu à tout le monde. Quand même. Écoute, moi j'étais à l'école, ok? C'était ma, mes, mes professeurs, c'était tous des gens qui venaient de la Belgique, de la France. Et... So crazy how, uh, for the first like 15 seconds of my life, using that camera outside as a vlog setup, instantly you meet someone, you know? That's, that's the beauty of vlogging. And, and video making in general, I guess. So, back to uh, back to the video. I'm actually walking in front of a microbrewery. I've never been in this one. I mean, it used to be a different microbrewery that then closed and then this one opened later. So I was going a bunch to the previous one. It was called uh, Alafu. And uh, the great thing there was you could take a, a buck of beer. It was actually a big one liter uh, glass of beer, which was fucking amazing. And uh, really, really good food as well. This new one, I haven't tried yet. So I probably should should try it out very soon. Now now the bars and restaurant opened again. So you probably don't give a fuck about that actually. So the thing that really slowed me down for the past couple of weeks is uh, poison ivy. I'm not sure if you know about poison ivy. You probably know about it if you're from North America. It's uh, this kind of plant that grows in the forest and when you touch it you get like a fucking intense rash wherever it touched you and uh, that is like super itchy for sometimes one week two weeks three weeks it's like a huge pain in the ass and uh, i had to deal with that for like a bit more than a month right now right when the parks opened again i went uh, with my friend alex to uh, to climb outside and to hike a little bit and that was fucking awesome. I actually made a video for, uh, for this trip, so you can check it out here. By climbing, we touched a lot of grass and herbs and like rocks and everything. And by hiking, like we went into super wild areas that there was no path, lots of trees, lots of herbs. More likely I touched the, the poison ivy herb over there. The thing is, you don't have it instantly. It's like, it takes up to a week to show for symptoms. And that's what it did for me. So like exactly a week later, I'm like, fuck, my hands are pretty itchy. It's like, it gets so itchy that you really want to like, just tear your skin apart, you know? It's like the worst thing. It's like this for a couple of days. I don't really understand. I'm like, oh, maybe it's just that I have dry hands. Maybe it's just the weather, the AC. I don't know. But then it gets way too intense. I'm like, okay, no fucking way. It's like normal. I, I go to the pharmacy. I ask for advice when I was like, I was in the forest. And then these are the symptoms. So I was like, okay, dude, it's, it's just poison ivy. They got me a, a list of everything I needed to do, which is mostly apply a hydrocortisone cream. And if that doesn't work enough, there's a calamine, which is like a weird purple pink lotion that basically dries everything out. So your whole skin is dry, but doesn't itch. And they were like, yeah, there's no cure for this shit. It takes between one and three weeks, so that's kind of random. And you just wait for it, but for the wait to be not as painful, you can use those things. So that's what I did. And that worked out until I go for my next climbing trip. I think the resin, resin? What the fuck is the name in English? Anyways, the thing stick to my backpack because after packing everything the next morning, I get the whole thing again, like the whole symptoms. It's like fucking annoying. I can't focus, I can't do anything. It's just like, it's crazy. It just sucks your life out of you, you know? When I realized that, I put all the creams again. I was like, I was ready to bail for the camping trip. Good thing my friend kind of forced me to keep going. 
and in the end it was a good idea because we had like a great weekend. I think it was mostly manageable during like the first day and the second day was fucking awesome. But it still lasted like mildly for a week after that. Because the first time, what nobody told me was that this thing can stick on your backpack, on your clothes, on everything you touch actually. And uh, if you don't clean it away with like some kind of soap uh, and you like brush it, ça va bien? Je t'en prie. That's quite funny, so the camera was facing the wrong way and it's kind of impolite to turn the camera at that point but that, that lady just fell off in the grass. She's fine, so that's a good thing. It was not a, a very big fall. Anyways, what was I saying? So yeah, the things they don't tell you, which I think would have made my life a bit easier, like probably saved me a good three or four weeks of this shit. This herb sticks to your backpack, your clothes, everything you touch with it. And uh, if you don't clean it, if you don't wipe it away with like soap and like you brush it and everything off, it stays there for up to five years. It's like you actually need to to find a way to clean it from everything you potentially touch, which for me is like all my climbing gear, all the inside and outside of my backpack, all the stuff that was inside my backpack. So I took like a good couple hours in the morning to do that. And I think I got, uh, I got it again just from cleaning the bag. So it's like, it's basically three times on and off. And uh, it's been kind of hell for uh, a month and a half right now. And today is like the first day where it feels like it's gone. So I hope that it's, it's gonna be like that for, well, forever now. I'm never getting this shit again, you know? And hopefully I clean my bag good enough that the next time I use it, it doesn't happen. So if you didn't know about this and you're in North America, be careful when you go in the woods, especially outside of paths in like deep grass and stuff like this, because this shit is around. Uh, I'll put probably a, a photo here. I actually never noticed it because the symptoms happened in a week later, you know? Just one more block to go. It was a quick walk actually. I think uh, vlogging while walking makes the walk so much faster, like even faster than listening to music. I should do that more often. So actually I didn't mention where I'm going. Uh, one more time I'm going to my friend Dames. And uh, this time we're not gonna talk about beer and make a video, no video for today. And uh, what we're gonna do is just taste some beers. Barbecue, huge, huge rack of ribs. I was waiting for that truck to come by and that, well, other truck. So yeah, taste some beers, you can see I have, uh, maybe you see I have some on the backpack on the side. I have more inside. I brought some uh, some sausage that are actually made of chevreuil. I'm not sure what chevreuil is in English, but it's like some kind of, you know, wild deer. And it tastes fucking amazing. It's a very particular taste. Oh, it's, uh, it's also chevreuil and chocolate and garlic. So it's like a very, very weird combination, but it tastes amazing. And I'm just arriving and you can see you can see Damien with his little bucket. It's so fucking amazing, the bucket on the table. Ça va bien ma gueule, je fais pas la bise parce que Covid, mais en vrai, le, le fist bump ça passe. Qu'est-ce qu'on se boit aujourd'hui Une pangouise de, de Nam. Fucking awesome. Oh my god, j'ai tellement hâte de la tester celle-là. Fait que euh, voilà, c'est parfait pour, euh, pour conclure ce petit vlog euh, impromptu. Fait que euh, santé. Voilà, très bien. Oh yeah!